Hello. This year, we're going to use the Schoology Gradebook as our primary gradebook. And so I want to give you a quick tour of what you can expect to see when you go into a Schoology Gradebook, how you can use it to find out whether or not you turn things in, and what the different um, feedback you'll get from teachers will look like. So I'm going to start by having you land on this home page. If you click in the upper left-hand corner in Osseria Schools, it'll bring you to this home page, which will give you a list of upcoming things that are due in your classes and any notes that a teacher or the school is, has sent you as updates. Uh, also here you might often find an overdue list. Uh, for this particular fake student named Chris Student, there isn't an overdue list. If you have assignments that are overdue, they should show up in an overdue list. We'll cover that in a different video. For today, I want to take a look at the gradebook, and we're going to go to a fake class. And for Chris Student, we're going to see that same upcoming list, because Chris only has one course. And we're going to go to Grades. In here, you're going to notice lots of different symbols and things. You're going to see that there's an overall grade currently of 2.94. Everything is going to be out of 4, so you can compare that to the four-point grading system and find out what that will translate to at the end of the trimester. You'll notice that there's a formative score that is worth 20% of Chris's grade and a summative score that is worth 80%. At this time, there's one summative test, one um, piece of work in the summative category. You may notice that there are all kinds of symbols in Chris's gradebook, so let's take a look at what they are. First, notice this little blue rectangle. You'll see it repeated three different times. This shows that Chris made a submittal to an assignment. Uh, it doesn't matter what the submittal was. If it was fully filled out or partially filled out, it'll show up as a little blue piece of paper. So if you're looking through your gradebook trying to remember, did I turn that in? You just need to look for that little symbol next to there and you'll know that you turned in a doc or something similar. You'll notice that this little blue rectangle does not have a score next to it. That means that you have submitted your assignment, but the teacher has not yet graded that assignment. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that this one, this rectangle is a little bit different. and has a little check mark on it. This is a discussion post. And so if we clicked on that, you would see that there's a discussion question and that there was an answer to it. That answer was given the score of a 2, a basic answer. Then you'll see that there's this little quiz and there's this little puzzle piece with a pencil in it. That means that Chris completed the quiz and submitted it. But if you scroll down, you'll notice that there's another quiz that does not have that little puzzle piece, but instead has a different symbol, a little hexagon that's green and has the word excused on it. That means that Chris does not have to do that assignment for whatever reason, and that assignment is excused and will not count against Chris's grade. Up here you'll notice a couple different symbols. Missing. Uh, missing is the orange hexagon that uh, is hollow in the middle, and you'll notice that there's a zero next to it. That means the teacher has marked this as missing, and it has now gotten a score of a zero. Once this happens, uh, you can talk to the teacher about whether you can still submit it, but it won't any longer show up in your overdue list, and the teacher won't get notified if you turn it in after this point. So if you have made arrangements to turn it in, you'll have to talk to them. Up here, there's an incomplete. So for whatever reason, the teacher has marked this one as incomplete and wants the student to go back and finish it. This score is not counting against your grade right now, but at the end of the trimester, that incomplete will become a zero. Now you might notice though unit one review looks a little bit different. There's no symbol here, but there is a score. This is something that the teacher collected a different way, did not have you submitted in Schoology, but was able to score it. So it might have been an oral speech where you uh, read your report out loud or gave a presentation with a classmate and they were able to score that as a 3.5. Now let's take a dive in and figure out why the scores are what they are. Now, even though Chris got fours on a couple of these assignments, Chris should always go look and see what the teacher feedback is. The teacher might make it a note right on the assignment, in which case it would show up in this box over here, but there's other places that the teacher can put feedback. For a quiz, they can put feedback inside of the quiz on individual answers. 
So if we go in and do view that assessment, this assessment only had one question, but you can see this little blue box. The teacher put in a comment that told the student to check for this answer on page 82. So that could be some help for the student if they're going to redo this assessment or we're looking for more information. On something that gets turned in in Docs, the teacher can give you feedback in a whole bunch of different ways, but we're going to go into the assignment to find it. So here, there's that four. We're going to click on the assignment, and over here, we're going to go click on the assignment submitted. And that's going to pop up to what the student submitted. So this is a fake assignment. So what the student submitted was, if you clicked here, you could see what the student submitted. Just that on a Word, on a Google Doc. Now you can see there's this little green highlight. That is highlight that I put in as teacher. So I could highlight a spelling uh, mistake or a word choice or highlight something and put a note. And then I can do circles that point your eye to an area I want you to look at. And then you can do these little digital post-it notes that can give more information about the other marks that are made. As you look over to the right, you'll see that there's the submission activity. It'll show when the student submitted it and the teacher can put another comment or they can record an audio message for the student to listen to. This might be more information about what you could do better if you were to resubmit this or what you could do better next time you do assignment like this. The last thing I want to point out is that Schoology is optimistic. So even though this assignment quiz is overdue, it is not counting against your grade right now because it has not been marked missing by the teacher. So it is not counting, it is not pulling down this 2.7 grade. At the end of the trimester, if that's still not turned in, that will turn into a zero and it will pull the grade down. So make sure that you don't uh, have all kinds of missing assignments and think that everything is going to be okay because this number is okay. Because if this number uh, has all kinds of missing work underneath it and all those things turn into zeros, then that number is going to drop, drop, drop. So hopefully this has been helpful, has shown you how to find uh, where you can find your teacher feedback, where you can find your grades, how you can tell if you submitted it, or if you didn't submit it and it's missing any sort of picture next to it. Have a great year. Thanks for your time.